Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you a really quick money method. It's basically a route that you can run south of Blackwater and you can make a lot of money really quick and it's not a lot of hassle and I mean, there's not a no setup to it at all. It's just visiting different locations. So I'm getting ready to go ahead and pull up on the map and show you where you need to head to. This method involves a cougar, pelicans, and also steelhead trout. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up on the map and show you where you need to head to first. And it's just this location right here by the end and by the windmill. A lot of people know about it. It's the location of a cougar. Now on your way to the other areas, you can hit this place first or on your way back, depending on whether or not a cougar shows up right away. You just look for this big rock that's on the left hand side and usually you'll see him straight ahead. Go ahead and lock onto the target and go ahead and call him out and just kind of wait. Let him come to you so you can get a good clean headshot so you can get a three star cougar as right now that he is. And it just takes him a second. Just have patience. It's just a few seconds. And as soon as he starts towards you, just go ahead and do a headshot. Like I said, I know a lot of people know this location, but this is an extra $13.50 you can make on this route. Like I said, you can either get him now or on your way back because we're going to head back to the butcher in Blackwater. So I'm going to go ahead and just toss him on there now. Sometimes if he doesn't spawn, it's because someone's in the area or just recently were. So what you need to do is head out and come back into the area. So the next place we're going to head to is right here. It's near this place where I call Pelican Island. Sometimes the pelicans will be on the island itself or they're going to fly overhead. Usually you get a flock like this. You can make a lot of good money on them. Uh, the feathers and stuff, the carcasses are okay. They kind of, you know, cut back on the price on those, but the feathers and everything is where a lot of the money's at. So when you do get the birds, try to get the ones that have the most stars. You usually at least get two of the three star brown pelicans and then just, you know, kind of skin the other ones, pluck them, whatever you want to call it and get the money for those. As you can see, one kind of flew out of the area and he kind of despawned. That happens sometimes, but you want to be quick about it and try to shoot them all together in a clump so none of them despawn. So I still got, I think there's three right here, so that's still pretty good. And like I said, you know, just find the ones with the three stars, like one that one right there is a three star. So that's going to be one of the carcasses I'm going to throw on the horse and kind of grab him. I hate sometimes when they get on the um, side of the hill, whatever, though, they kind of, you keep trying to slide down the side. And now the next place we're going to head to, this is the place I'm mainly going to go to. It's right here by Quaker's Cove, right where this little part of the lane that comes out into the water. Now, when you head over here, um, of course, sometimes you can get a gang hideout right here at the docks. That's not too far from here. But basically, you want to come out to this area right here. Now, feel free to step out into the water some. Right away, I don't do that. But later on, as I'm fishing, I'll step out into the water some just because it, it slows down the part where you have to have the fish animating. So just going to go ahead and just set up my bait. And as you can see, a ton of them start uh, spawning out real quick of steelhead trout. With this, it's really quick to catch the fish here. I'm just going to catch a couple of them real quick to show you how fast they are back to back and how they continually do just keep spawning in. I'm not going to bore you with just footage of me fishing and stuff just to rake up minutes on the video. Um, basically, you'll see how quick they come in and just just want to show you these three different locations. Usually in these areas, I mainly always get at least 60 to $70. Now, you can actually, on the way back through the Great Plains, you can see, you know, herds of buffalo and stuff like that. Now, of course, you wouldn't get rid of your cougar carcass or nothing like that, but the meat and stuff does sell for a decent amount of money. So, And here, too, also, if you want to pick up some smaller fish, I mean, there are a lot of dollar fish here that do add up pretty quick, and you can catch those fish as well. So, honestly, I'd probably recommend maybe even just getting 10 small of the pickerel. Using the cheese bait or worms and stuff like that, you can pull them in really fast, just as fast as you're doing the steelhead trout, and it does add an extra $10. So, go ahead and pull this guy in real quick. And like I said, I mean, it's a really easy way to fish, especially if, if you haven't seen my other videos and you're having trouble with fishing. When you reel them in, of course, the first right away, you just let them struggle the first time so they don't break your line. And as you bring them in, you just go up and down on the left joystick like you would be regularly fishing and you'll pull them in really fast. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep collecting the amount of fish that I need and I will see you guys back over at the butcher. So we're heading back over to the butcher real quick and I will show you. You can see that I had the pelicans, I have the cougar on the horse. And it was just about to get dark when I started, so kind of beat that a little bit. So we'll go ahead and take a look at what we got. So we got $2.25 for big game meat, which is from the Cougar. $25 for the steelhead trout. Got $1.35 for some feathers. $3.60 for the bird meat. $1 for the fangs from the Cougar. We got $10 
and 80 cents from the pelican feathers and we got five dollars for the cougar pelt six dollars and 75 cents for the carcass and dollar 88 for the pelicans so not bad considering just knocking a couple dollars off there just because i had parts of an alligator that i went to um, we got about $68, so it's a pretty quick trip. I did it within probably I say 20 minutes maybe at the most And that's just because I was going a little bit slower just talking to you guys explaining what I was doing So I hope this video helped you out if you did I'd appreciate it if you would like the video share it with your friends Also too, if you subscribe click notification bell It'll help you keep up to date to anything that's going on Red Dead Online or any other kind of methods glitches or exploits that I come across as always guys I'll catch you next time in the next video